Hey everybody, this is Phil with the Bottomless Bucket YouTube channel. We're here today to do a sh video of the assembly of the bucket. My, my dog here, Beck, is going to help out. Um, and basically what I've got is I've got the units unpacked from the two boxes that they were shipped in. Uh, all the panels came in one uh, primary box. Um, and then these brackets here, which are the high down brackets came in a separate box. So those have been unpacked. Um, I've got essentially the tools I'll be using, which in this case is a open end 9 16 inch wrench and a socketed 9 16 inch wrench. Um, I've got the bolts that, are, uh, that come with the unit. So these are all the bolts that are gonna be needed to bolt the uh, bucket together and all the parts. And then I recommend this anti-seize lubricant. So you want to put this on each of the bolts, um, you know, before you put the nuts on the bolts to ensure that you have, um, you know, a, a fitting that won't seize up on you over time uh, so that you, if you ever have to take the, them apart, you can, you can easily do so. So these are the, the tools that I'm going to be using to assemble the bucket. Um, what I also recommend is getting a table similar to this one here that the bucket can sit on top of uh, and you can actually build it on top of this particular table. Um, if you want, you can put it on a set of 4x4s uh, or whatever it gets it off the ground enough so that you'll be able to access these lower bolts uh, on the side of the bucket. So this table here works well for me. Um, something like this might work just as well for you. So we'll begin the process by putting on one of the side panels and then we'll work on the front and the back panels and then the finally the, the last panel. Uh, there are instructions on the website so if you go to the bottomless bucket uh, product page you'll see a, an assembly instruction um, uh, detail each of the different steps that you will go through to install uh, or assemble the bucket. Okay. So we'll get started here and then we'll um, get the first section laid out. Okay, so we're ready for our first side panel. Um, we're gonna put this panel on um, and what I've done is uh, before starting, I've pre-dressed each of my bolts with a little bit of this anti-seize uh, goo here. You just kind of roll it around on the, on the bolt and, and have it all ready. So do all your bolts before you go ahead to put it on so you're not trying to hold the panel and, 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 and dress up the bolts. Um, so let me grab my panel. First panel. You'll notice obviously the, uh, the slanted side of this panel, you can see that that's the slanted side, uh, is gonna go along the front edge of the uh, bottom plate where this is also a little bit um, angled. You'll see there's a 13 degree angle on this piece here whereas the back piece is, is perfectly 90 degrees. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this piece up in here. And we go ahead and we get the first bolt attached. I'll use my wrench and get that underneath here to hold that. And 
and voila, it is the first bolt. So not too bad. Uh, obviously, if you have a friend here to help, they can hold that uh, intact while you're doing the screwing. Um, we'll go ahead and stick our next two bolts in, and then we'll be back when that's done. Okay, so we've uh, completed bolting in these uh, side bolts here. Uh, just make sure that the nuts are on the inside of the bucket and the head of the bolt is on the uh, outside of the bucket. So if that wasn't obvious in the original shoot there. Okay, so now that we've got our sides on, we'll go ahead and get the back panel mounted on, followed by the front and then the other side, okay? Okay, so we're ready to put on the back panel here, um, and we're going to go ahead and use this um, piece of angled iron here, or it's just basically a piece of angled aluminum, I'll show you kind of in the camera. Um, it's just basically a, a, a right angle, and what I can do is I can use this, um, when I'm going to push these screws in here, I can slide this behind the, the, the floor and stick it under the floor here and, and then use it to try to press up against the bolts along this leading edge here, right? So with this pressure on the back of the bolts, when I go to put my nuts on, because these are nylon uh, locking nuts, they tend to want to push the bolt out. So um, you can just use this piece of angled aluminum here to kind of hold that bolt in place, assuming you're, you're working by yourself. Okay, so um, that's just a trick um, I use. Obviously, you might have your own uh, tricks, but it's once you get the back panel on, you'll have to be getting the bolt attached, and you don't want that bolt popping back through the holes in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get a panel, and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I positioned the back panel um, onto the bucket, and it's going to um, essentially, the holes should, should be lined up. And then we're going to start by just getting the first bolt in here uh, so that we can get this shored up on this corner. Now we're not going to tighten all these up just yet because we're going to want a little bit of be able to play a little bit with the with the um, back panel here to make sure all the holes line up. So so don't tighten that in just yet. Uh, again, I've got my my nine degree piece here. I'm going to go ahead and slide this um, and put a couple of bolts in and then slide this in behind those bolts. So let me pop a bolt in open these holes here. Gives me something to hold up against this and this bolt. All right, so now I can go ahead and put my washer and bolt each one of them.
as you can see, I got each, each one of these started more or less. Um, So we've got them started. I'll go ahead uh, off camera and tighten those up and uh, then we should be ready to go ahead and install the, the front panel. So, uh, so far so good. Okay, so we're back. We've got uh, the six bolts along the bottom here all tied in. Um, it's actually seven bolts, but I was counting. And uh, now we're ready to mount on the front panel. So that'll kind of go on similar to the back panel. Um, and we'll get that um, in position and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the front panel in position here. Uh, the key is you'll notice on the front panel there's a little bit of an indentation here on each corner at the top of this panel. So make sure you have this indentation up top, not on the bottom uh, of the bucket, okay? Um, so uh, just be sure of that. Um, the panel should be symmetrical, so it doesn't matter which way you, you turn it. Um, but if you do find that there's any misalignment of the holes, then uh, you can always turn it around and, and, and make sure that those holes line up perfectly. Um, these are all cut on plasma tables, so the position should be pretty good. Uh, but ultimately, if there is an issue, just flip the panel around. Right? They look pretty good to me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and tie these in with my bolts. Um, so I usually start with this, this corner one here and get that one started. Same on the other corner, I'll do that one over there. Just so that you have the panel sitting properly. So uh, we'll get those uh, tightened up and uh, then we'll be back to do the, the, the last side panel here. And ultimately, once we have uh, that side panel on, we'll just have the brackets and the gussets to mount onto the bucket and it will be done. So let's keep moving. I'll be back as soon as I tighten these up and uh, we'll start with the side panel. Thanks. Um, now to get this one in, on, it's it's pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to put it uh, up in into the side panel slots here, and it'll just hang nicely, so we can easily uh, tie it in. Um, I'm going to be using a little step ladder here because my table is so high; I can't reach all the way down to get to those bolts. So I'll use this little step stool to help me do that. Um, and basically, all we have to do is get the panel and hang it on the frame. Just like that, line up those, those lower holes. Um, and then we'll go ahead and affix the bottom bolts first. So, we'll get a washer and a bolt. There's a bolt. And another washer. And we'll go ahead and tie this first lower bolt in. It's a little bit of a reach to get in here, so. Hopefully I have long enough to get in there. 
and then I can go ahead and tighten that up. So what I'll do is I'll just put my ratchet on the foreign bolt and let the side pocket the pocket so that tight moves up. Oh. And we're just gonna turn that ratchet. And don't take it take it all the way up until you get the other two bolts in there. Uh, so I get another pair of bolts. Sure. Okay, I'm use the tool here to give a little better access to those holes. This is probably the step you could use a little help on if you have someone to hold this. It's on you to reach into the bucket and get that bolt on. It's a deep bucket, so you need either long arms or a little bit of help to get this on. There's two of them. So those uh, bottom bolts are more or less in there. I haven't take, taken them all the way up yet, but we'll do that shortly. And then we're just gonna work on the rest of the, the bolts here. So we'll get this top one in. That'll make it nice and stable while we screw the other ones in. So that side is fixed in. So we'll come back. I'll get the rest of these bolts tied in. I won't bore you with that exercise, but um, that completes the assembly of the bucket itself. And all we have left is the gussets and then our brackets that go on the back. So um, this has really gone together quite easily, as you can see. And as I get this thing together, you'll notice how rigid this frame is and, and really the kind of um, stability that this bucket is going to have for all of your um, material moving needs. So um, we'll be back when I get this all buttoned up and we'll get the gussets in next and then we'll be back with you.
Okay, so we've buttoned up this side panel. All the panels are all tightened up now, and uh, this thing is really looking solid. It, uh, it really came together nicely. Um, again, because it's all plasma cut and drilled, these uh, holes tend to line up really nicely, and um, you know you, you don't miss a beat with, with putting this together. So the next piece is these gussets, these corner gussets, and these are gonna be going uh, into the back corners of both sides. So um, you'll want to um, go ahead and just get the, the bracket in there, line it up and make sure that it, uh, the holes all line up. If you have to, you may have to flip it, but, but um, they're typically, either way, they seem to line up pretty well. So, um, you know, just, just make sure they line up before you, you start putting all the, all the bolts in. Um, so, We'll go ahead and start this process here. We'll just stick this middle bolt in here. Just wash it off first. And we'll go ahead and wash that bolt on there. that go in I usually go to the corners here and uh, so these will bolt on just um, very simply so we'll come back when we've got these done and the last piece we have is the quick attach uh, brackets these are high dump brackets uh, we'll talk a little bit about those and the features that they provide for you, but uh, ultimately we'll put this button up and we'll be back in just a minute. See you in a minute. Okay, so the corner gussets are in. Um, you can see that they're all bolted in, tightened down nice. Uh, those corner gussets give the bucket extra rigidity and stability uh, in tying these this back panel and this side panel together. So. Uh, a very rigid construction. Uh, this bucket is really, really solid, and you'll get years of, of service out of this particular bucket. So um, the next thing that we'll be doing is essentially mounting on these brackets here. Um, these are designed to work with both the Kubota and the John Deere quick attach systems. So these are Kubota brackets. Um, you indicate when you order the bucket which one you want. Now, if you are trying to hook this up to a tractor that's not a Kubota steer quick attach compatible or to a, a tractor that's uh, not a John Deere, we can make up these brackets for you without any of the mating hardware. So basically, it would give you a surface on which to weld whatever uh, mating hardware you need for your tractor, uh, and we can deliver those to you um, uh, in, as opposed to one of these pre-configured um, uh, brackets for, for the Kubota and John Deere subcompact tractors, okay? So these essentially are going to go on. You can tell this is the outside right-hand side bracket and the other one is the left-hand side bracket. Um, as you can see, the stops are on the, the sides of it. And we're basically going to just place these on the back of the bucket and line up these holes here um, that will go into this particular bucket configuration. So um, that bracket will mount more or less like that on the, on the back of this bucket. Um, and this is gonna give you additional height uh, for dumping. So the, the bucket can be raised um, over 24 inches uh, and still be capable of dumping. So 
Um, we'll go ahead and tie these in and then we'll be back. Okay, so there we have the um, quick attach brackets are now mounted on. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, these brackets are made of 1 8 inch steel. So um, all of the stress is going to be on this steel, um, these steel plates and uh, very um, little of the stress is going to actually be on the bucket itself. So uh, we're spreading the load between the top of the bucket and the back side of the bucket here. So um, it gives you a real uh, high degree of, of confidence and stability um, of this um, attached system. And you don't have to worry about stressing the uh, aluminum backing here uh, because these brackets will take all the, all the abuse. Okay, so the assembly of the bucket is complete. Uh, we've got our decals affixed to the bucket. Um, so notice that uh, the bucket is made proudly here in the USA um, and we've got some uh, warning stickers in the bucket um, you know for you know preventing people from stepping in the bucket you don't want to stand in this bucket even though it can hold you um, it's, it would be very dangerous if the operator were to make a mistake you could hurt yourself in the bucket um, so there's another uh, made in the USA sticker and then I've got a little warning label on the back here to uh, let you know that you should not use this for shoveling, excavating, or grading. This is not um, a steel bucket. So, um, you know, you want to be carrying material into it, moving it around your property, um, and dumping that material out into your compost piles and such. But um, this is not a excavating bucket. So, um, there you have it. The bottomless bucket installation assembly is complete and uh, you can order yours today at bottomlessbucketstore.com. Uh, reach out to us and let us know how you like this video. Certainly subscribe if you haven't already and give us a like on this video. Thanks everybody.